welcome to vlogtober day 21 so i wanted to do a nail supply haul like a beginner friendly nail supply haul um i wanted to try a new ch uh, candle with y'all as well this is sand and fog pumpkin soy latte so this is one of the candles that i got from tj maxx I'm just trying like different candles with y'all because we gonna, so I could be able to let y'all know like what, what the scent hitting on. So this nail supply haul is gonna be very basic for like the basic starter nail supplies. Um, I don't deal with acrylics and I don't use um, gel products. I try not to use them at all. Sometimes I slip up and use a gel product that I might not know is a gel product. Or if I need like rhinestone gel and stuff like that, get that, then I'll use it. But I'm super duper careful with it. So let's start out. So the first thing you want to start out with is nails. So I have quite a few nails that I purchased. It was nails that I started out with. And then it was also nails that was like trial and error nails. So when I first started out, I started out with these e basket nails. All of the stuff I'm showing y'all today is either from Amazon or AliExpress. So these e-basket tips are actually from Amazon. And I had got these tips because when I first started doing my nails, I was doing poly gel. I thought the tip, I don't know if y'all can see the length, but they're not very long. Um, I started out doing poly gel nails, so I was using the tips. Um, but I quickly developed an allergic reaction to the poly gel nails. I thought it would be different from the actual gel nails that you get at the shop. But for me, it's just all gel products I ended up figuring out. So, I needed to find like some square full cover nails. But I have wide nail beds. Um, apparently, it's a thing that not a lot of people have to deal with. But for me, I, it's something that I have to deal with. So not really deal with but it's something that i have so i got these soft gel soap offs i got these um off of amazon they, they say they extra long square but for me it wasn't really extra long i mean i guess it depends on what your definition of extra long is and even though these said that these was like um that's not very long y'all i'm just saying that's what they said was extra long even though these were soft gel tips, soft gel uh, full cover nails, they didn't give me no problems. I don't know if it was because like, it was in between was a, a glue layer, so it wasn't really like touching. I don't know. So um, because I have wide nail beds, again, I had to search on Amazon for some even... I wanted some longer nails, but then I also wanted to make sure that I was going to have nails to fit my thumbs because I get my 3XL nails off of AliExpress, but the nails never fit, the zero never fit my thumb. My thumb bed is like, it's wide. So I ended up getting these off of Amazon. I hope y'all can see that. These are the Mayo Toe Nails, and I really like these as a full cover um, press on nails. And I really like these. I like the length and everything. I really got these. They're pretty. Like, I like them. I'm, I actually have two of these. So, the nail length is good. This is like a thumb. I really did not even get these nails for the other numbers. I literally only got them for zero and one because I needed them for my thumb. Because I use, these are from AliExpress. I think these are the 2XL. Yeah. These are the AliExpress nails that I use, and they just kind of come in little baggies like this. So let me see. This is a three, and then I'm going to try to get the other three to show y'all the, um, the length difference. Hold up. Because at first I was getting the AliExpress nails in the 2XL, and then when I had went on one day, they had the 3XL. And I was like, oh, let me try the 3XL because the 2XL, I like the length, but I want them a little bit longer. I, I like what I like. So I wanted them a little bit longer. So this is a 3. This is the 2XL. And then this is the 
this is the 3xl hopefully y'all can see that so this is the 2xl this is the 3xl so it's definitely a big difference in the size we put them so if you see one is definitely taller than the other one this is the 3xl this is the 2xl so i get my nails off of aliexpress I get them for the low. I'm telling y'all in advance, I definitely would recommend beginners to shop on AliExpress for your nail supplies. Uh, don't be in a rush, cause it ain't gonna come quick. Um, some places will say that they stuff come quick, but it don't get to me. I'm in Chicago, it don't get to me quick. If you are, if you order something in April and they say it's gonna come in August, my stuff, my stuff come in August. It don't, it don't come early i have yet to get something where i'm like oh my god it, it ships so fast so you're gonna get it for the low so be patient so those are the nails the next thing you're gonna need uh starting out is some nail files i got this set it came in like three packs of these this 100 180 files i got these off of aliexpress as well i don't know the prices of none of this stuff y'all because i got this a long time ago but i know if y'all go on aliexpress all of this stuff will be easy to find under um nail supplies um the only thing that you might issues with is maybe like rhinestones and stuff because sometimes you got to be a little bit the naming is a little off so you're gonna need files for your nails also for like utensils to prep your nails this is my little cuticle nipper thing that i use in my videos when i do like my nail videos so you're gonna need like a cuticle nipper you're gonna need a cuticle pusher backer and then I use this in to um, clean under my nails. Also, these little tweezers. I got these tweezers off of Amazon. They came in a set of two. And the reasons why I have this is because, like, when um, sometimes, like, if you have, like, bigger stones that you want to start off using, or if it, even if it's, like, a smaller stone, sometimes, like, especially if you're using, like, rhinestone nail glue instead of, like, nail glue to put your jewels on and stuff, sometimes I use this to kind of, like, hold it in place while I cure it real quick. And speaking of curing it, I do recommend one of these. I don't know if the battery in it or not. Probably not. Yeah. So this is a little mini UV light thingy. And I like this. Um, It does not, for me, it does not set my nail completely. So like if I'm doing rhinestones and I have like a big stone that I'm putting on, I'll put the rhinestone gel on and then I'll cure it with this. But what I'll do is I'll pretty much set it over the nail i hold the stone in place like with this i might just like touch it to keep the stone in place it'll like semi cure it it'll cure it enough where it holds in place and then you can actually put it in a uv lamp for it to completely cure so i definitely do recommend this this came in like a set of three and i got these off of aliexpress as well it came in three colors it came in as pink blue and green and i definitely recommend it this little thing is just something that you could pick up your stones with so like if you're using like little rhinestones and stuff like that you could pick this up you could pick rhinestones and stuff up i believe i got this off of amazon it came in a pack of two i don't really use this one because i got a different one than i use that i got off of amazon but i have used this one before and it works just the same as any other like little wax pen that's what it is it's just like a little wax a little wax pencil so this is gonna come in very much so in handy when you are um trying to pick your stones up and stuff another thing that's going to be important is your nail cutter so i got this nail cutter this came in a pack i want to say this came in a pack of two but it could have just been one i got some nail glue on the back y'all so it's a little stiff but it still do what it needs to do so i believe this came in a pack of two it's another one of these somewhere but i got these off of I want to say Amazon, but I kind of feel like it's AliExpress. But the reason why I think I would get this, I would have got this off of Amazon is because I would have wanted to be able to cut my nails quickly. Like I wouldn't have wanted to have to wait like a month to start doing my nails. A lot of this other stuff I was able to wait for because like I had got, I had got like these nails and stuff off of Amazon. So I was able to start my nails quicker. So I'm going to say that I got this off of Amazon because that's what I would have done. I wouldn't have waited a long time for this. 
but this is just a nail cutter and it's definitely necessary when you're doing your nails it makes it quicker to cut your nails and stuff like that you can always use a nail clipper but i don't use a nail clipper i normally use this if i got like hang nails and stuff like that um on my nails i use the nail clippers for that or like i do my own pedicure so like when i'm doing my pedicures i will like clip my toes my toenails and stuff like that with like this nail clipper and another thing about toenails, so like if you're doing your own pedicures, you want to get the little toe separator thingies. I have a lot of bag of these and I got them off of AliExpress. It was like, oh, I don't know. I want to say maybe like 30 in there or so and they look like really cute, like little pieces of candy. And so I use these when I'm doing like my pedicure, if I'm doing my mom's pedicure. When I do my son pedicure, I don't really... Um, he don't really need the he don't I don't really do the toe separators with him because it just pretty much is being tight. He ain't he don't get no color, nothing like that. So he don't need the toe separators. So I don't use that with my baby. Um another thing, this is not in no kind of order, you guys. So like when you put your nail glue on, like for your rhinestones, I do sometimes use actual nail glue to put my rhinestones on. But I wash my hands a lot. Um and a lot of times my rhinestones will fall off, but when I use this Macar rhinestone gel glue, it holds the stones really, really good, especially if you got like big stones. So like this is really good for like if you have like big stones that you're putting on or especially if they're like not flat bags. So like I made the mistake of buying like, let me see, as y'all can see, it's not a flat bag. Very pretty color, very pretty crystal, but it is not a flat bag. So, I use this UV, this glue. I know you got to use a lamp with it, and so I do use a lamp with it, but I'm just super duper careful. It got like a little, the tip is almost, it's like a pointed tip, so not a lot comes out. So, I never have to worry about getting this on my hands or nothing like that. It don't give me no reactions because it don't touch my skin. So I definitely recommend this as opposed to actual nail glue to put your uh, stones on. But you can use nail glue. It'll work the same. So speaking of nail glue, y'all know I got my two nail glues. I was looking on Amazon and everybody, so many people had bought this McCart brush on nail glue. I recommend brush on nail glue. I feel like you can control it better than just like the little nail glue that's in a little dropper. And it doesn't dry out as quickly. So I like the brush on nail glue just because it's less messy and I can control it better. So the McCart nail glue, mm, it's all right, but I love this nail bond nail glue. It is a bit pricey. I believe it's like, I believe it's like twelve, thirteen dollars a bottle, y'all. But it's good. It's good for me. Um, no particular order, of course. You're definitely gonna need some nail polish. If you're using gel polish, you will use gel polish. You can get gel polish off of Amazon, AliExpress. You can get gel polish from the beauty supply, any place you wanna get the gel polish from. But if you're using gel polish, just know that you're gonna need a UV LED or like a UV lamp to be able to cure it. It's not gonna just dry. It doesn't dry like regular polish. So this is Zoya polish. All my polishes are Zoya polish because I've had such an issue with my hands with allergies. So I just switched. Um, once I found out that Zoya didn't have a lot of those chemicals that a lot of those um, gel products had and a lot of those other nail polishes had, I just switched over to Zoya and I bought all Zoya nail polishes. So um, I get all my polishes from Zoya. You can, uh, Zoya online. You can get Zoya off of Amazon. They got a, um, what do they have? Beyond Polish is where I get the majority of my Zoya polishes from because they're a little, you get a better price as opposed to going to the actual Zoya site. I'm just saying, the actual Zoya site, the price is going to be a little up. But Beyond Polish, the prices will be, they'll be lower. So like where these are normally like $10 a bottle, um, I could get them off of, I get these off of Beyond Polish for like five, sometimes it's seven, depending on the type. Like if I'm getting like a naked polish or something, sometimes they add up the price for that. Um, so also you're gonna need some cuticle oil. This is like some like regular degular schmegular um cuticle oil that I got from what did I get this from? Amazon. And it's cuticle oil. So I just put it on a little cotton ball and then I just rub it on my cuticle. Another thing is gonna be like a little duster thing for like when you want to dust your nails off, like after you file the shine off of your natural nails, or if you're just trying to like clean up your space and stuff like that. Like I use it for multiple things. I got this off of AliExpress, and let me tell you, I thought this shit was gonna be like way bigger. And then they sent this little bitty baby thing, but I wasn't tripping. It was like a dollar, so 
I'm not going to complain and do what it needs to do. So another thing that I use is this little cup. It came with a cute little top. And I thought these were going to be bigger than they were as well. I, they came in a pack of two. I got these off of Amazon. Um, I use this for my nail polish remover. So like when I'm doing like line art and stuff like that on my nails, I'll use, um, I'll put the fingernail polish remover in here um, because it's small and then I'm able to contain it because I don't be using, I don't be needing like a whole lot of fingernail polish remover normally. So I just put it up in here so that it'll be out the way. It's small so it doesn't take up a lot of space. And then I just dip my brush in and stuff like that when I need to clean. Um, another thing is fingernail polish remover. So this is the fingernail polish remover that I use. I get this off of Amazon and I get this shit by the boatload. I literally have like, I literally maybe have like five more of these just sitting around in my drawer. Um, another thing you're going to need if you're doing like press-ons is you're going to need the little nail holder thing. Now these got putty on top of them. A lot of times the nail polish, let me take the putty off one of them. So it's magnetized. So it got like the little individual circles for it. And then this one over here is like what it originally looks like. I have two sets. They come in sets. So like it was, you know, one for each hand. So you get two of these with five of these little things. And then they gave me like a little pack of putty too. So I use these to hold my press-on nails on while I do my press-on nails on the stand. So um, another thing is rhinestones. So when I started out doing my press-on nails, I started out with like real basic rhinestones. So we got this little nail bling. I don't know if y'all can see it. Hopefully y'all can. My light in this room so damn bright. I'm, I'm not going to complain. And then I got these. I'll show them this way. I'm nervous y'all. I don't want these motherfuckers to open up and spill it. What my feelings going to be hurt? Let me not even say that. And then we got these. These are my gold ones that I really, really love. These are the rhinestones that I use for these nails. Well, for all of my nails. I use this. I use the, I use these rhinestones. So, super sparkly, super nice. So, another thing that you will need, especially if you're doing nail products, like starting out in the beginning, is you're going to need a little UV lamp. Now, you can get a big UV lamp or you can get a small one. This one actually came with the poly gel set that I had got from a cart. It had came with this because it was like a beginner set. It came with like four different poly gels and then it had like this little UV lamp. Now, with this UV lamp, of course, you got to do one hand at a time. Um... It was too small for me, so I did end up getting like a larger UV lamp. And the larger UV lamp that I have, let me see. I got this one off of Amazon. This one I got off of Amazon. You can put both your hands in here, and this is also for feet. So you could either put both hands in here or you could take like the little, this like little part comes out and then you could just set it on top. Like if you're doing stones or like gel on the feet or something like that, you can put your feet in here as well. The little pink one I got, this just, I got this from the McCart website when I bought the potty gel. But I definitely recommend if you're going to be using gel products, you're going to definitely need a UV lamp because there's no other way for it to cure. It's not going to be like, well, let me just let it sit for hours and hours and hours and it'll dry because it's not going to dry this is a dust collector. I recommend a dust collector if you're doing just regular press-on nails. If you're doing, especially if you're doing like acrylic nails, anything that requires like a lot of filing, I do my nails on top of here. I don't have to deal with no dust in the air. And I don't ever have like nail dust on the floor or anything like that. This works very, very well and it sucks it up. And lastly, you guys, is this little beauty. So now for me, when I started out, I started out doing poly gel nails. So I actually did need a fowler because you can use a nail fowler, but it takes some time. And so I got tired of how long it took with the nail fowler. So I ended up buying this Melody Susie nail drill and it came with, it didn't come with all of these. I think it came with like three of these. And then I had got like another nail drill set off of Amazon. So Amazon also sells um, like nail drills. And so I think this one came with like two or three. It might have came with four. I don't remember y'all. But it didn't just come with one. And so with this, I also ended up buying um, 
sanding bands i got my sanding bands off of amazon as well i don't have them out right now because i really just forgot about the sanding bands you can find the sanding bands on amazon but you also want to check and make sure that you're getting the right kind of sanding bands for the nails because all sanding bands are not made alike there are sanding bands that are literally for natural nails and the sanding band the sanding bands just look like this now i change these as needed because i'm the only one that uses them i don't do press on nails for nobody else i only I, all this stuff is just for me my mom has natural nails she does just like regular polish on her feet and her toes like i'm the one that do the bling and the the press ons and all of that stuff so i'm i only use these products on myself um but i definitely do recommend this melanie Susie nail drill um even when you just doing press ons because i use this drill with this I don't even know what this drill bit is called. I don't even know if this is what I'm supposed to use it for. But I use this drill with that drill bit to file the inside of my press-on nails to make like so that the nail bed part will have a little bit of texture to it so that it can adhere to the to the glue better. So that's I actually use this to just file the inside of my nails down when I do my press-on nails. And it just it makes it super quick to do it all of that stuff. So I definitely would recommend it. And I hope anybody who is starting press on nails, go for it. Have fun with it. If you want to turn it into a business, turn it into the business. Get that money. If you want to do it for yourself, do it for yourself. Just to have something else that you could put under your uh, coat and be like, yep. And I do that too when I feel like it.